Good afternoon guys, this is Joel from Overland Kings and welcome to our rig builds. Today is a very special day because we have here a special build behind us. Obviously you can see it, it's a new Jeep Gladiator. But what makes it special is this car is not going to be just designed for overlanding, but it's just going to serve a very unique purpose. A few weeks back, our friend uh, Chef JP, uh, shout out to Chef Japes, uh, introduced us to another friend. And uh, one of these friends is uh, Ninong Rai. So this is Ninong Rai's rig. And there was a very specific peg. He wanted a rig where he could do his cooking he wanted a rig that is agile and mobile so that he could also make the videos and bring food, bring good food to, the, to his friends, bring the cooking and the experience, not in his own kitchen, but translate that whole kitchen into a mobile solution that he could go anywhere with. So, no better place to do it than Overland Kings, as we love to customize stuff. Let's head into the customization and we'll show you what it's all about. So what we have is a Jeep Gladiator and being a pickup, that gives us a lot of flexibility on how to actually rig the whole thing up. So first off, we thought, all right, if I'm gonna run a kitchen, we need a secure space to hold all the gear down. So first, we started with equipping the Jeep with an RSI Smart Canopy. So the RSI Smart Canopy gives it, you know, one of the most waterproof solutions for the back of the Jeep and also very strong. So if just in case you want to put more boxes in the top of the Jeep, um, or in this case, uh, you know, an awning, then this would be the perfect solution. Speaking of the awning, we have equipped the Jeep with a mammoth switchblade awning, freestanding 270 degrees. So what that does is it gives you the shade just in case you're cooking out in the boondocks or, you know, in someone's backyard and it's hot or the rain suddenly comes in then uh, we're protected from the elements to a certain degree. Uh, it's a 270 degree so that it will stretch from the left side of the car, driver's side, all the way to the other side. Moving on, when we were designing the interior of the Jeep Gladiator, we're always about efficiency, we're always about being able to reach what we're getting. And in this case, you know, I pretended to be a chef <laughs> and uh, tried to act out how I would actually cook. So the basic, the basic uh, principle or the basic way we design this is actually flow. Uh, everything's about flow. Even when we're designing overland rigs, we talk about flow, ease of access, getting the stuff out right. And you know, I figured out that you know, when you're cooking, it's about the same things. You have to be able to access your spices. You gotta be able to access your condiments. You gotta be able to access your knives. And at the end of the day, you gotta be able to have a workflow where everything is smooth. Even accessing your fridge, accessing your cutting area, your workspace. So it's actually, the principles are actually quite similar. So I wanna talk about the main star of the show of this build. We have three things. One is the Mountain Mule Kitchen Drawer System. So this is the most built-in system you can find for, uh, for a pickup. Basically, it's a drawer that you pull out to get a dual burner in the back, and then uh, you have a powered sink and a very large workspace to work with. And to the left of this kitchen system, it comes with, of course, a customized drawer that we did from Overland Kings. And the right side comes with a fridge slide so that we'll be able to access the freezer while we're cooking. So that's number one. Number two is the water system. So we've equipped this with a 42 liter water tank in the back that's piped into the whole system so that you have water on demand. So meaning there's no more plugging that's needed. Basically, you fill in the tanks, you turn on the, you turn on the faucet and water comes out. Speaking of water, we also included a dirty kitchen because the main sink will be used for the soft dishes. But we do have a dirty water area which is underneath the car that you will see that you can attach a hose so that in case you need to spray down those bigger dishes that Nino Rai needs to wash or maybe just need to rinse your, your feet in a dirty area before you enter the car or just wash your hands, then this would be the place to do so. Last but not the least, of course, we need power. So uh, this, this vehicle is powered by a dual battery system from Mammoth. It's called the Mammoth Cyberbox 3600. So 3600 stands for the amount of power it has. So it's 3600 watt hours of power. If you do the math for that, um, 
in our experience, you can last three to four days on if you're just running your freezer and your cell phones. But the purpose of the power system, why we, we equip the Gladiator with this amount of power is so that the camera systems that we're running, they could charge your drones, they could charge, you know, the, the Sony cameras that you're using um, while they're on location or outside. They'll be able to do that. Of course, the power system is the latest in, in batteries, which is the lithium iron phosphate. So it's called LiPo 4. And what this does, it gives you the most amount of cycles. Our rig would not be complete without our personal touches. To the side canopies, we have Overland Kings has customized the aluminum box canopies uh, that's installed on the vehicle. And we put all the safety systems to it. So it has a, it has a first aid kit, it has a fire extinguisher, it has a knife holder. And of course, to the side, it, a little bit of luxuries because we know that Ninong Rai loves his coffee. So we've equipped this car with an espresso machine with a custom mount for all the spices that you will need when it's cooking. All of course by magnet so that it could just stick it on the car if you need to take the spice out. And it's basically a way to just keep the things organized. Also, it is equipped with its own tissue roll holder <laughs> and condiments rack. And finally, final touches, two highball glasses to make the partnership and good jam official between Overland Kings and Ninong Rai. So those are the little touches that we made for this Gladiator. You know, we're really excited to show this car to Ninong Rai, but because he doesn't know a, the, some of the little things that we've done, uh, like the face, his face is there, uh, the spice rack, you know, the, 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 there's mutual trust in this jam that, you know, he gave us a little bit of a free hand on how to execute it. So I'm so excited to show it to him. So without further ado, ladies and gentlemen, this is the rig of Ninong Rai, the Jeep Gladiator Kitchen. Bro.